Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Michael Neer. Thanks for joining again. Um, today, how do we do mind mapping working from home, working remotely? Uh, but first, I really, really need your help. As you remember from last time, uh, link below, I was talking about a book and a creative way to work uh, from home collaboratively. And this time I need your help with two different covers we have for the book. So this is number one, and how I lost 17 pounds during COVID-19 and lived to tell, you can too, and this is number two. And I need you to vote because we're not sure which one uh, would work better. So if you can vote number one and number two below or just email me at michael at michaelnear.com, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. So creativity in working from home, it's a great, great challenge that now we need to work through. And I wanna share with you, how do you do work from home mind mapping? As you already noticed, we probably need a facilitator call them the scrum master, the product owner, the project manager, the program manager, we need someone to facilitate. Um, this is a really good board, and if you can get your company to buy this for you, so you put that in your office and you're the facilitator, I'll put the link down below for, to Amazon. This is a decent board to work on, um, and I'll be facilitating. Now, here's the first tip. When you're doing this sort of exercise, unmute everybody. And this works well for teams up to 10 participants. Now the difference is the dynamics and I really urge you to have a shot at this. So I'll be facilitating. Let's say we're talking about a new feature, feature X for our product and it can be about anything. So we're gonna do a mind map for feature X. I'm opening up, let's assume we are now in an open Zoom session, open WebEx session and people are sharing their thoughts. Now it's okay if we're, we're talking over each other because this is what brainstorming is about, right? So we need to recreate this collaborative relationship that happens uh, impromptu in meetings. So let's say feature X and somebody uh, blurts out, uh, what about the, uh, the customer, right? And then someone says, oh yeah, customer, but we also need to look at market for this feature X. And then there is uh, hypothesis number one, or maybe there are a set of assumptions that people are, are starting to um, identify. Assumption number one, assumption number two for market, and then maybe under one of the assumptions there is uh, data that needs to be gathered, and maybe for customer there is an experiment. So you, you want to, you want to, you already are hearing that I'm talking about lean startup approach, lean canvassing. But working through a collaborative mind map where someone captures the ideas and it works so much better than doing this virtually. Trust me, I've tried. So uh, people keep, uh, keep uh, adding ideas, right? And this can go on usually for about 15, 20 minutes for creating the big mind map. Then someone might, might talk about, you said customer market, maybe there is the engineering part of this product and I'm an agile coach. I work with a lot of engineering teams. So how does that look like within this product? And someone says, well, uh, we need to identify the teams and there is an element of so on and so forth. So this is a mind map done remotely and we want to recreate the interaction that would normally occur, occur sorry, uh, when there is a facilitator in the room working through. The only way to do that is to unmute everybody. That's my first tip. And the second one is put it on a real board. Now, of course, later on, the facilitator will uh, capture this in a virtual uh, tool, maybe take a snapshot, use a tool to, um, to take that snapshot and make it virtual. Another cool coach tip I want to add, you also probably want a scribe in the meeting to capture things that the facilitator wasn't able to do. Now, this is important because this is exactly what we would do in the previous COVID-19 face-to-face meeting together. So working from home mind map with a facilitator, everybody unmuted. That's my tip for you for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, please share and vote number one or number two. I'm Michael Neer. Thanks for joining the channel. See you next time.